Hello and welcome all friends. I am back with an another video. This time we are going to talk about the nerf and buffs. Let's check out what's going to get nerf and what's going to get buff in next update 8.7. So let's go on to Reddit and check it out. What's it? What's the plan of Pixonic to get now? Uh, what to get now and what to get buff? Community update 76 blanket buffs and targeted nerfs in 8.7 hello everyone we resolve on making bold start in 2023 and just like that we are buffing most of the older weapons a major rebalance is coming in 8.7 we will leave a field of majority of popular builds this day this time we are taking a unconventional approach and working more on buff side rather than the nerf these changes are huge so additional balance tricks can occur shortly after 8.7 don't hesitate to tell us what you think of the list below we also pay co attention to date and your feedbacks from the weekend test server so please take some 20-30 minutes to play a couple of matches and fill out the feedback form okay below is what exactly we have plans of plan as of friday january 13th blanket buffs all tier 2 tier 2 tier 4 weapons except for those most recent and dominant ones will become much stronger tire 2 get 10 percent extra damage tire 3 get plus 25 extra damage and tire 4 gets 40 percent extra damage these weapons are excluded from the blanket buff spears fainters talon claw jaw decay hazard light Hammer, Mace, Cuddle, Samuta, Rasdor, Kamala, Puncher, Venom, Toxic Pain are left behind. So let's check. Important the blanket buff will apply first. All the following adjustments will go on top of it. Target nerfs. Buffing along alone won't be enough to even out the meta the recent update exports several outlays which we need to trim down capri increased ability cooldown from 7 to 8 decrease ability defense point from 50 okay now capri is going to nerf and its ability cooldown it's getting from 7 seconds to 8 seconds Decreased ability defense point from 50 to 40. Decreased ability damage bonus from 15% to 10%. Spears increased short interval from 0.6 second to 1.1 second. Setup reduce force field threshold phase 1 35 k to 30k phase 2 55k to 45k puncher increase aim cone from 0.03 seconds to 0.045 seconds angler also getting nerf decrease ability damage from 45 percent ability Decreased ability damage 45%, decreased shield durability 10%, jaw, claw, talon, increase full reload time from 5 seconds to 6 seconds. Now it will be 6 seconds for claw and jaw, scatter havoc and devastator, decreased ammo from 9 to 8. Increase reload interval from 1.5 seconds, now it will be 2 seconds. Behemoth also getting nerf, a decrease speed from 45 to 40, reduce durability by 10%, avalanche decrease 
AOE by 19 to 12. Mars also getting nerf. Reduce torrent damage 30%. Increase ability cooldown from 15 seconds to now it's 17 seconds. Reduced AG's durability 20%. Reduce AG's regeneration rate 20%. Fainter also getting nerf, increase reload interval time from 1 second to 2 seconds now while almost uh, of the items of the living uh, So additional we are nerfing the smart machine guns and equalizing north light with mentees let's see what's that Samuta Razdor and Karmola the bendy weapons decrease reload capacity from 14 to now it's 10 full reload time increases from 18 second full reload time increase to 18 second reduce aim assist capacity details to be TBD Northlight uh, North also getting nerf Decrease repair ages durability by 20%. Decrease defense points from 100 to 50. Thor Shieldbreaker can neg negate the effect of North Light. Target buffs. Let's check on what's going to buffs. Shock Train increase damage 20%. Ballista increase damage 20%. Hossa Marcus's Dragoon increase damage 20%. Quicker atom Atomizer Nuclon increase time to overheat from 10 to 11. Glory decrease short interval from 1 to 0 0.5 seconds. Decrease reload interval from 2 to 1.8 seconds. Vortex decrease reload time from 10 to 9. Jagger uh, the bots which are going to get buff are uh, Jagger increase speed while out of sniper stance detail to be announced. Hellburner increased explosion damage both from ability use and when getting destroyed 10%. Blitz reduce ability cooldown from 17 to 15. Cerberus increase ability damage 50%. Increase corrosion damage 22%. Increase Aegis durability 10%. Riker increased ability damage 50%, increased durability 10%, Falcon increased defense points from 150 to 200, Mercury Inquestor increased stealth durability duration from 5 to 6, Spectre increased stealth duration from 2 to 4, Rajin increased ability damage bonus 10%, Ares will no longer slow down on ability use. That's good. So here you go. They, they are the these are the nerfs and buffs which are going to come. I think in 8.7 friends. So this is the end of the video, friends. All the information I have given you, which are going to get nerf and which are going to get buff. So best of luck for the future gameplay, take care, bye bye, see you soon with another video, bye all.